Give that creeper a hat. Captain Nailan. Hello, Captain Nailan here, and welcome to another small base tutorial video. This is episode 10 of the Making a Game 1. Sorry about the um, large delay of not uploading these tutorials. Um, you can guess what will happen, but it might be all over by now. Okay. So let's get on with the video. Once I have got to make sure I'm here, once I've made sure I'm in, I'm canal SP2 to I mean, two things caused this to happen. The downstairs computer obviously is you know, packed up. Where else? The Microsoft. The um, Minecraft Let's Play series has also stopped, probably. And somebody. Um, I'll give you two words human instincts. I guess. But it's all over now, probably. But for now, I'll sort that out. So, pretty soon my tactical brain is woken up because of that, which means I'm now just a bit more in the way. Yes. Right. But yeah. And also, while like that's been happening, I was coded this Captain Land version of Captain Land console, which you can get from my GitHub. There. Mm -hmm. and, me. and that one. I get it from here, and it's basically a command console geo that eventually I have a lot of available as well for you to do. And that program is pretty much this thing when it starts on. I see libraries have the mode and this one. But yeah. So it does trick. Anyway, back to small basic. There's probably no once you here you go to wherever you save. The last time we've done it, it's been a while. If you've been watching this last video, which is episode 9. You know, it's been a while since it's done it. So, let's find it. Uh, that one. Let's see. I mean, I always make guys for a lot of decisions. So we're going to be coding the generation tab part of it and the rendering part of the program. Now, usually I get really annoyed when it comes to the generation bit because I hate generators because they're really annoying to code, I must admit. But if you do them in the layers like I do in Minecraft and call for other games, then it's fine. But doing procedural, proper procedural generation is really fine. Yeah, the human instincts are making me a little bit upset sometimes, but I should be fine. Mind you, Star Wars Day was quite a good day. I made a tie fire the day before it. Had cardboard and paper. Slightly broken. So, yeah. You probably notice there's a lot of libraries installed. I'm going to remove any DLLs because I really don't need it anyway. Okay, generation. Right then. So, um, I better quiet down actually because I'm not in hearts for my. Phone, sorry. Microphone so I can talk like this. Um, it's quite. So first of all, with generate, 
how to define the layers. So it's going to be layers for the first layer. It's going to be air. Now if you go up to the top again, like I did sometime right at the beginning, it's 53 by 30 blocks. So I think that was 53 blocks across. So blocks down. So air layer is and basically this is going to be zero this is going to be like 35 55 something like that it's going to be it's going to be zero to i think it's, since it's 35 i'll do it to 15 no 20 something like that now what we'll do then is underneath that we put So the block layer is 21 to 20, no, 30, and I'll do death layer is 31 to 35. So if we go now to where uh, in game, so it's loading game here. So read the contents, since these are what we now need to do is add an if statement here. And you have to do if world is blank. So if it does not in a file, the file doesn't exist pretty much. End if. So if world is blank, then I'll just stay on the new side. Well, if all is blank, you want to see pause. Is zero and hold. pause is C pause. No, these two statements C pause it was while it was it's world. With the uh, index pause and map, it was world index and map. Definitely speaking, these aren't really arrays, they're really actually dictionaries. And it is a dictionary if you look at it. Cool, cursor west. It's interesting. Uh, yep. But yeah, and then what we want to do after that is we now want to call generate here. That's what we want to call generate. So we put generate after that. That'll generate the world, top of the world here. And then we, after that, we're going to do map equals world. Map. Actually, no, we should do it the other way around because it would be right into the map. This one will be right into the world. Map. Now, basic render there, basic build system. So, LA is 20. So, we type in 4. I actually, even better idea. Actually, I've got an even better idea. We can stick it all in one if statement. I'm sorry, for statement. It's going to be like 4 I as actually, no, let's call it I gen. Sorry, I've been using too much. Visual Basic, I keep putting it as. Sorry, if you know Visual Basic, you know what I mean. 
it shouldn't really be zero, it should be more be one. Oh, it's 53 plus 30, sorry. So that's going to do no any good. Alright. Yes, it is 5330. See, it does turn out 1 slash 1 to 30. Step 1 and 4. Sorry, it's all this visual basic coming right back at me. It should really be 30. It should really be 25. 26 to 30, and it should be 21 to 25. Uh, actually, no, 16 to 25. It should be 15. So if I ask Jen, it's less than sixteen. Then that's your first statement. And this will be for the error. And here we want to add another false statement so for Gen I equals one two. It was fifty three, wasn't it? Fifty three step. Well, I thought you spelled it correctly. Step one and four. Not like that. Space. Keep doing that. It's basic. We now want it to do map here. Don't forget, but C pause is blank and map is also blank because of all this could cause some problems. And down here, let's go back down here again. Sorry, I'm doing something's over there. Map along the corridor, I think. I think it's along the corridor upstairs, I'm done it. Yeah, along the corridor upstairs, so yeah. <laughs> Sounds so technical, it really isn't. Right, Gen I. And then I, it's called Gen. I've noticed some inconsistencies in some of my code. Especially here. Where well, this should really be map. That should be map too. So if you're looking at your code now, get a game tick and the first line of the statement. I want to change that to map. I want to change anything in reference to world to map. So say not too much map. There's some inconsistencies. That's normal. Some better because they don't be a proper program. Okay, air is actually what we do we have to enter its naming. So it's air. Next one is if i underscore gen is less than twenty six and i underscore gen is bigger than fifteen. This 
one is block that. So let's back up. And it's block. It's called block. So that's exactly block. Next is the death line. I think it's good yes. Yeah, me. Copy and paste this uh, statement here again. Now copy and paste it. Um, it's 26 to 30. So if I gen is less than 31, and I gen is greater than. In this case, I think it'd be 25. In this case, if you scroll up again, I think it could die. That's the map generation system. No idea how often read this code. Look. Let me think. How many do you rank? Very far. Let's see what I'm ranking. Okay. That'd be young rank for so much, you know. If we go here. No idea where the same fold actually exists. Save, I'll just put save world up on definition section. And down here you want to uncomment it. And you want to comment that. If you go back up to the subroutine called runtime and scroll down until you get to in game, after the if st while statement with the in game as its duration variable, you want to stick an if save world, then if in this case you're going to want to Save world was false. Underneath that, you want to add this, this, Underneath that, you want that. And what you want to do now is you want to edit that to saving game. Then you want this bit here. So now show. So now go. So now do this. World. Pause. It's a POS one, pause, yeah, I'm sure it is. This will need to just in a minute, but for now I'll edit this bit. Just realize there's a mistake in that bit. No pause. Because C pause and this is up here, see. Underneath that, you want to do it again, but this time map equals C equals map, pretty much. And then you want to save the world. Let's do this, you want to go. Mm -hmm. 
right contents wall P take my right all the contents of wall now you want to set what blank but outside this bit you want to set here so I'll well, be equal to blank see pass equals blank map equal to blank and you got yourself a saving system that's to save from those like map alright there's a file there's a bit of it before that this bit here We change to if we go up to the top, you actually see that everything all these stuff is saved for block types. The actual names of the blocks are given to the block cards. Literally. So maps these things here yeah, actually take block cards. So really it should be another square bracket there between that square bracket and the first square bracket of gravity and that square bracket on top of the map and you want to type in the block types. That way, gravity is actually some set of block types. You want to do the same to the next bit as well. I want to add, not there, there, but another one at placement. Now you want to add block types again. And again, again. Square bracket there, block types, and square bracket on its attribute part, which is here, and it's closing. There you go. And that is a basic generation system. It will not render currently, but In it game suits you are too. Probably not need anymore, but I've just got it there just in case. Um, yes, make sure you don't do that. Make sure you don't put space between it and if because it's not that loud. Right, what's your generation system? Now you want to test it. So you run it. You don't see anything obviously, but it has generated it in the background. I mean, if I save it, in fact, if I get Task Manager up, if I save it, if I save it, I should be able to access it. In I don't know how long this video has been going, I think about 30 minutes, but I just wanted to add the rendering in. Lags heavily. There's a world file. It looks big, but in reality, it really is not small. And since it shouldn't look like gibberish, in fact, if you go into it, this is where the fun begins, everybody. Using that plus plus to look at it. In fact, you can use anything, notepads recommended, perhaps. I should say you can see that it has what in fact this thing. I'm zoom just on the default. Can we see pause? You can see that you, the player has actually moved down due to the player's moved down due to this code here until it got to level 15 where it's solid blocks. It's quite clever. Whereas you start actually at 1 1. You can see the air types, and then if you carry on going down, you see die and stuff like that. Of course, it's not done yet, but we need to have the rendering in this episode as well. So, let's look at how it's been 
get a full 24 minutes, that's alright. Rendering time, everybody. Hopefully. Seeing gap is probably going to remain blank. I'm joking. You'll eventually log mobs in there and stuff like that. But you may notice that the picture for said character is not actually loaded yet. It's the same. That was the next thing I had to eat. First of all, you want to add something to the registry. Again, you need to add something to the registry. I think I removed. Scroll. Good. Because you're not meant to scroll anymore. So I think CC chunk isn't required anymore. Yeah. Don't need that. You can remove that now. Because it's not needed. It's going to be a little scroll again. Right. I want to add something called player render data and make that blank. You want to load player render data here. Graphical rendering. You may want to say now, hang on a minute, what is this? That opens to the specialised text in the front. And it's split by commas. And you may ask, can you type comma? Well, I've got to show you some sort of escaping character machine. See, go This is for the interactive data later on. Ticks. Now that doesn't exist. So the next thing I want to add is similar thing. Set the player render. A bit like this can either be the image location or a card block. It's just a bit like IMG in this case. We are going to go and find a card which we can use. Um, and we're gonna pick what has been done. Blue, yeah, blue hasn't actually been done, so might as well. Oops. Nice blue. So we copy in. There's nothing there. I don't know if this is the colour we're using. Alright. Yeah, this bit needs a decoding system. In fact, I still want to add that to the That is on the list of things to do. It was already, actually, strangely enough. Interaction for next episode. Sorry about this episode's links. I'll get pee very soon, actually, using the manic. <laughs> right, yes, render is next. As said, it's well and good having this, but what about rendering something else? Well, we need to add another registry. Render reg. Make it blank. Now, 
go to render and unrender. Want to set? Want to set? Render reached blank on this one. On this one, you want if render reach is blank. Now we get the for the whole map. Speed for I render render x equals one two Fifty three, I think it was. Step one and four. And the other one is for I underscore render Y equals one and two fifty three step one as well. And four. This is the interesting. sorry I keep doing that. Interesting bit happens now. On the registry, if you want to set it. Surrender edge. This, by the way, sets the block type thing, so it'll be I and X, not render Y. Render Y. Instead of setting that, actually, we're actually going to set the colour. Actually, wait a minute, I need to pee. So I'll come back when I come back. Hello, back again. I'm just going to make sure I'm doing it. Now, I've been thinking about a way to do it, and I think I've worked out a way to do it. For the render registry, the best way is to use the option for image. So here, here. Now, image is probably not if it's color is IMG. Wait a minute, what's the size of the blocks? 53 by 7. I'm going to get a calculator up, hang on a minute. Calculator. 
once it's starting up. Oh, nice. Um, 480 inches height divided by 30 equals 16. That must mean. Eight fifty divided by fifty three equals sixteen as well. So sixteen by sixteen blocks good. Right then. Text is going to be this, copy and paste this bit. So if text is not showing, I try and do IMG dot dot. So this is true. Then what you want to do and the other bit we need to add another thing here, we need to add a render render option reg blank What we now want to do is we now want to graphics window over top brush color equals text dot subtext get subtext to end will be text which will be that you'll start at one two three four five so you'll start from fifth character you also want the six pen cards the same Also want to make sure you get the old values. So old brush color equals graphics with the brush color. And old pen color, because you never know when the other used to be this code. So this is safer. And now let's do wind object range. And uh, equals shapes. So shapes dot add. You want to do add rectangle. And you want sixteen by sixteen. After that, you want to then do shapes dot move. And you want to get this bit, this one the object, and you want to move it to to B minus. So be I to X sixteen. I read Y times so sixteen, and then you want to reset your colors to the originals. Just copy and paste that. Put that sign up there. Like 
Sorry, if that's silent, then that's silent. That's the first bit. Of course, this doesn't allow for entering parallels yet. Before we add the second bit, we need to make sure English list is registered. On the bit at the bottom, I think. load with this you want that you want to place this bit here this bit here and the same goes for this bit here and that my friend is This bit. We're do the difference there. It's the shows to add rectangle. The shape stop add image. Now, if you are making ones, I'd recommend you 
make the image a 16 by 16, because that's the point. There's no way of checking it in the game, but you break the game if I've got 16 by 16, just the point. Probably not the game. Look at the bottom of the screen, just make sure. 16. Mouse, what the hell are we put here? Everything from in the registry. And that is how you get that. That's primary. Same system, power of four loops. What I've added, however, does not have support for rendering players yet. You'd have to pair these, so these require to be paired if you need to use them. I'm going to temporarily add them to game tick, but in reality you want to add them to the update and updating function. That way you don't render every time. Every second you actually render it to require update, otherwise it lags heavily, which it will do. in both of these, good, there, put a little bit of both of those, here, I'll leave it, I'm joking, but I'm thinking now, You're actually going to want it to unrender here. Not to re render it here. Render that. Actually, yep. Yeah. Put render at the bottom. There. Just a shift to the one. Just put render. For now. So, that. You need to reverse them in it. It's just for testing, so I have to take a test. It's in 
comments, so control apostrophe. And right at the top where you in game typing render just on the search UI. Mm -hmm. Whether it's not it's gonna work is another matter. Yeah, whether or not it's going to work is another matter. For these reasons, it's not working. Nothing ever works for my code yet. <laughs> However, I've removed the test statement. Let's remove that statement. You won't need it. is action. Yeah, you can't see anything, it's a bit odd. Could be the syntax requires for colors. Have a clue on what we use for color syntax. Hmm, <laughs> nothing. You're going to test it out and see what happens. It's debugging time, everybody. It does work. Yeah. Yeah, the map seems a little bit blank.
check the block type registries. I think I know what's happened. I think. I'm actually just going to do this and see what happens. Right. Here quickly. Hmm, that's odd. But the lock types is getting set to it's really weird. Here, make sure you put the index in and say image. That was what I was missing, and that is what the back was. Easy, I think. Here, again, the same image. It seems to have been overwriting. That should work better now. Basically, what happened. Good news everybody, this is what it looks like, I think. Unfortunately everything seems a bit black so... Go figure, and everything still isn't rendering correctly. Ah, right, I see the bug. Here, when you say I render X, it was in brackets for a reason minus one, minus one again for this one, and minus one for this one, and minus one for this one. Return these to five. I do like the rendering system. No, I really don't. There we go, that's better. A bit slow, but does the job. A better render would actually scan for changes before. I said the render was a bit silly. But no matter, that could be added next time. We can add base render change. So this will be renamed render full. And all in the summer since we were in the fall. This render will almost always need a single block update. Also, this happens or something. Nice. <laughs> yeah, a little bit annoying, but it looks good. It looks cool. Oops, 
a little bit long winded I must admit. <laughs> at least it renders we haven't added player rendering that will be added in a minute I'll remove the text window for a second because that's not easy anymore there we go that might render this first bit complete I'm actually going to rename unrender, unrender all, and render, render, because this is fine. That's exactly So now, render. Actually, best way of doing things like that, and just type in all, 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 all. It's busy. Yes, it is a bit long we did I must agree with you, but I can't thread it's from basic events. Next thing you want to add is plant detection. We'll do that. You want to add an if statement. So let's do if y underscore room to x. Pause X. So from begins at I underscore render Y. C pause. Y. And if. Especially see statement number one. This instead will now become slash red data. This can actually be removed. As planned now, of course it's moved. Yeah, sorry about the um. <laughs> Does take a while. Of course it's because I just pressed the skin. Right, I'll go for P again, so I'm going to pause this again and I'll add the render singular which will allow me to add a special render singular which basically goes through it's a technically a render update system basically it will give certain coordinates instead of giving you know, a couple things so I'll just come back again, this video has been long but it's actually been more productive than anything else right, quickly so we're going to add another registry in. The, the next, rend, next render R, so next render array, and then that you basically have an array of positions you want to render next. Done 
item for addition, but that should be easy for you. Implementation, so let's implement it. So not this one, we just pretty much rip through the stuff. This one's actually going to be a little more sensible. That's why it works. Sub render. Yes, right, no sub render. Sub. Just one, two. Get item count. This is going to be article. Next round. Next render array. R and X is text dot get subtext so text is short underscore get subtext it starts at one in that Should we do dot dot or comma? I'm actually going to do comma because they're coordinates and it sounds much better. So don't put a space between them obviously because that won't work. When you're defining what's to refresh next, you don't put a space between them. Right, where is it? It's a text. Next string dot r, i underscore o d. Then subtext is very easy to. It's just a comma. And it's easy, it's minus one. It's pretty. The next one is obviously the I until Y, which is text dot get subtext to end. This one gets the end now because it's Y value. It's pretty similar except it's Next, oh, that was the last time. I underscore O R O D R E N. Then in comma, and for value, we want to start from it's this bad one. So it's text dot get index of next, and then the R I O D R E N, comma. And a <laughs> comma in basically double quotes, but plus one this time around. Then you want to paste what you copied earlier, you want to paste it there, so it's pretty much the use of and like that. And that's your on demand rendering system. My friends, is your on demand render system. You also want to have this down here, which will be blank here. This one's our if it's not blank, then you shall execute this if it's not blank. And if so not without space, I'll stop doing that. So you get really annoying when they go back to the visual basic, right. Next bit is unrand the easy one. Because it's just remove all of this stuff here. All the unit. Let's go here. It's just this one here. Copy that. Paste it there. Make sure the subroutine is called unrender. 
and you kill yourself. What am I doing, sister? Now your next question is how do you check if something's updated? Pretty much if you update anything in the game, what you should technically do is call a function. Which I'm about to give a very good example of. I'll give a very good example here. here and do so pretty much it's we bits needed when player forms to gravity is busy we do it's first of all to unrender but you call that before you do that, you have to call it next R render R zero equals zero equals do C pause X which the X positions first plus then you put comma then you put another plus and then you have to put C pause Y. It's good I'm recording this because if I wasn't recording this I'd be really annoyed with myself. I am recording this. Yes, I'm recording this. Good. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like just in case of what I think. Okay. This first bit, we update the current position. Then we have to put this in again, except we make the R1. That sits in. <laughs> do on render. After that, we now want to set next draw back to blank again, and that fixes pretty much it. You also want to do the same here, actually, technically, that way you make sure it's always blank. If you want to, you can stick this in your own subject, I'm not going to do that here. So, what have we got? Hmm. Now, I haven't, haven't, I haven't added a random winning block yet. Yet, I'm just saying yet. This episode, big player still doesn't move, so don't get caught, kid. As they say. So let's let it render out. Nice. The test render never cut. It cuts on game tip only if for what you can't. I may or may not. Test key. Let's check. That was also really well known, but yes. Even I'm Paste underneath, hashtag two. I may cry test key in a minute, but in reality, I'm actually going to reset the world in a few seconds. I know it's the blue guy is still technically on top. If it works, you should see the blue guy fall. If it doesn't work, which it probably won't, because that happens every half. <laughs> then pretty much go away. Don't exactly know how fast it went to fall. Well that didn't really go well, did it? It's just made a blue line. Which nobody wants to look at. 
which is annoying. Why did you make a blue line? I have absolutely no clue. Well, I did it, mate. Next round, uh, Wait a minute. Oh, right. Sorry. Make sure that isn't zero. Make sure that's one because some race can race start from one. It's not visual basic. I'm sorry. You change with basic. Green dude. Fast rendering. Did it make it fast? See, fast rendering. Okay, very stupid rendering, but it's not that bad. It ain't that bad at all. Though you would think you could play a character or something set for the background. In this case, you don't want to. Yeah, I know. I sound stupid. <laughs> I know I do. So don't worry about me. That's um, hmm. Um, I think that'd be probably it. I mean, I saw that on demand rendering. You might as well add the random. Do you want. Right. I'll see what my. Sorry, I can start with my script here. Well, not script, it's just a little plan of what I'm doing. Next episode will be improving the generator, so I'll be adding a little winning scene. I'm actually adding stuff to the generator. And we're also probably going to add proper player interactions, as well as block interactions. Next. And in the episode after that, we'll be adding mod modern loading and so forth. So, so. Basic. Yeah, so pretty much that's what it does currently. Definitely saves the game. Very much. Yes, I kind of know how you feel when you say the. Oh, I'm still saying about actually adding a block in my episode to this, I'm not going to add it in this episode. So I think this is the end of this episode. I mean, gravity certainly works. The situation's got a bit too much gravity in it, but I'm sh You see now it's really good. It's quite good, isn't it? This world. Definitely extended. Pretty much removes all other DLLs apart from small basic. And that's it, fellas, for this episode. I think. I'm highly enjoying this. Finally.
Okay, so thank you for watching episode 10 of my smallest tutorial of Captain Island. I hope you enjoyed and that's goodbye for Land. Goodbye. Properly. So, then, thanks for watching. But for now, it's goodbye for Captain Island. Like, subscribe, or dislike, or click on one of those lovely videos posted on the screen right now. I'll give you a picture. Goodbye.